Hello, my name's Vicky Boucher. Now, I don't know whether you've finished university or you're in your final year, but you must be starting to think about how you're going to pay off that student loan. It's an enormous amount of money for some of you. Um, there is an easy way. You can stay earning under £20,000 a year and then you'll never have to pay the loan back. It seems to have been a bit of a waste of time going to university to learn stuff and actually make a difference for yourself if you're then never going to put that into action. So what other way can you do it that doesn't involve directly having to pay vast lumps of your income over to the government to pay back that loan? What's your family situation? Bit of a personal question there. What's uh, mum and dad doing at the moment? Do they still work? Do they own their own house? You might be in a position where mum and dad have separated and got two separate families. In some instances that's even better because then maybe they both own separate homes. Now if your family, so your parents or maybe even aunts and uncles or even depending on the age of you it might be older brothers and sisters are in a position where they earn over £25,000 a year and they own their own home, their own residential house with a mortgage and you could be in a position where you can start having conversations with your family about investing in property collectively. This is something that other cultures often do, they group together and they enable the younger members of the family to buy homes and it's something that we don't always think about so clearly. So it's a, it's a, a complex thing to try and cover in one short video. What I just want to do is give you the idea that there are ways that you can start to pay off your loans, your university fees, by investing in property and it will involve conversations with your parents and what you might want to do, and this isn't a plug for the book, but just so that you know, I created a book called um, Property for the Next Generation, Preparing Your Family uh, for a Wealthy Future. Now you can get that book on Amazon, um, you can get it off of my website and you can also get it as a Kindle version. So why not look at, if you're really interested in this, picking up one of the books, reading through and understanding the whole conversation about traditionally our parents and our grandparents believed that houses were an asset. Now the definition of an asset is something that generates income or at least does not cost you money. Houses, residential houses are a liability. In the early stages they have a mortgage that has to be paid, you have to pay it, the homeowner, and therefore it's a liability. And later on, even when the mortgage is cleared, you still have to pay to make the house work, the gas, the electric, the council tax, the water rates, you still have to pay for a TV licence, you still have to pay for it to be decorated and kept in good order and probably insurance on it as well. So it's still taking money out of your pocket. There are easy mathematical formulas and there will be information around on my websites that you can check out. It will show you how if you release some of the profit in the house now, the profit is often called equity, and you can do that by remortgaging, you can take that equity, you can reinvest it into other smaller houses that you use for buy-to-let purposes so that you rent out to other people and that generates a profit. Now, that was masses of information in one short video. If you want to know more, get in touch. If you want to read more, buy the book. And if you're interested in pursuing this, read through the details on the website and there'll be places for you to go and find out more about this. I wish you all the best. My name is Vicky Wache. Good luck in your studies and good luck in your future.